Hi internet, so today I wanted to do a review of Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rashes? Rash... Rash... Sarah. By Sarah. Sarah? There's no hate, so Sarah. It's not Sarah. Yeah, names. Snow Like Ashes. Dear. Look at this cover. I love this story. Um, yeah, let's get into this. So this is a fantasy YA story and I loved it. It has to do with magic. Yes. I, go, I You should just pick it up to start with. But the synopsis. So this story is set in a land where there are really seven, oh, there are eight kingdoms. Four of them are normal, go through all the seasons. Um, and the other four are right on top of this magic source that makes each four have its own season. So you've got winter, summer, spring, autumn, and they all just constantly live in their seasons. And the people that live in them are so climatized for their seasons, it's kind of ridiculous. With this world as well, each kingdom has a conduit. There are four female conduits and four male conduits. So the conduit is like an item that their king or queen, depending on who's female and who's male, can use to better off only their peop on their people in their kingdom and their kingdom itself. So if you want to have better farmers or better fighters or more intellect or creativity, that sort of thing. In this story, in this book, we follow Mira, who is a orphaned winter refugee, I guess. She lives with, I think it's eight other refugees from winter. And about 16 years ago, spring attacked winter, broke their conduit, has taken it and is hiding two halves everywhere, and killed their king and queen and enslaved their population. Now these, I think there was originally about 46 refugees, and that has gone down to only eight or nine when we start the story. Um, in this, Myra is really trying to prove herself as being a soldier and wanting to help her, the, con the kingdom that she never knew, and we get to follow her through this as exciting things happen. Um, with this, she, the only other child that she grows up with is Matha, who is the prince or the son of the royals who was able to get be saved before everything happened. So you get to see that dynamic of her like dealing with Matha and how everyone's like, the future prince, the future king, the prince, and she's like, Matha. <laughs> He's Matha to me. And then you have Sir, who is in charge of everyone and takes care of her. I believe he was the um, man in charge of defence of the kingdom. And his wife and some other people. And oh, It's pretty much like random people from the court. You really get to grow up with, like, Mira's 16 when the story starts, but you kind of get a sense of how she grew up and how she's grown up hearing all these amazing stories of winter and with people who devoted their lives to winter and would and continue to devote their lives to getting winter back and putting their king back in power but she's never actually seen it and you get to see a struggle between she wants winter and she wants to protect it but she comes to realize that she wants to protect it in her own way she wants to make it in her way not the way everyone else wants her to so this is amazing and you get to see her just internal struggle with coming to terms with loving this country and being able to have pictured this country and no, or kingdom and knowing exactly what it looks like and what the town looked like but never actually having seen it not even remembering how snow felt but knowing that she loves the cold and her body's climatized to the cold or people from winter have white hair blue eyes and hate white skin and hate the heat and she's one of those people and it's just a refreshing story and thorn or theron I just love Theon, like, since we meet him. So I hope Theon continues in the series. But yeah, have any of you guys read this series or book? How do you feel about it? I love it. I feel like it's the perfect debut novel for... Name that I should have watched a video with it pronounced in before I started making my own. Yeah. I hope you guys are having a lovely week and I'll see you next time.